So you know you need what's called a lead magnet or an opt-in or a freebie or a free download, but you are not sure how do you actually create that thing that they download, that PDF, that checklist. How do you physically create this thing? Well, if that's you, I'm gonna help you out today. And I'm not only gonna help you out, we are gonna give you the tools to get you started. So my name is Kathy Olson of Funnel Gorgeous and I have been a professional graphic designer for over 20 years. Yes, I started designing when I was three. <laughs> I am classically trained in the Adobe Suite programs. I actually did my first thing in Photoshop. I want to say it was definitely in the 90s when Photoshop, it was like Photoshop 2. But I digress. That's not what we're going to be working in today. We're not even going to be working in Photoshop. We're going to be working in Canva. The awesome thing about Canva, it's been around for a few years. I'm becoming more and more of a fan. And so one thing you need to know about me is that although I was classically trained, I am not a diva in that sense. As long as it looks professional, I don't really care how you get there. So in the Funnel Gorgeous business, we sell funnel templates, which are actually like websites, little mini websites that bring people through to a sale, but we also sell logo templates and lead magnet templates that match these same collections. So we sell them in Photoshop format, in Illustrator format, and in Canva format. So today I'm going to really break down what it looks like, what the inside of our actual templates look like, how they're already done for you. I'm going to show you kind of how to change the colors a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to bill it, how to take your information, and how to choose the different parts that we have inside of the Canva file for you guys. And and really create this new version that is all your own that you are gonna go out and send forth to get people on your list and to fall in love with you. Sound good? We're gonna dive over to my screen and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. You are gonna be maybe shocked that it's actually a lot easier than you thought it was. But I do wanna spend a little bit of time explaining like the purpose of a lead magnet so you can understand how to make yours the best. So it's not really about the level of design as much as it is the content, right? So if you send out bad free content, no one will ever make it to your paid content. The better the free content, the more more likely they are to become a customer or a client of yours. So this is one of ours and it's one of the ones that has consistently done well for like a super long time for years actually for us. You can grab it if you want to see what it looks like. It's just funnelgorgeous.com slash swipe. Enter your email address and it's going to take you to a thank you page. Originally this was just a download, just a PDF. What we realized is that people wanted a little bit more walking through and understanding of how to work with this PDF. We actually created a video explaining how to use the PDF, how to to use this guide, what you can do with it, what are the options and stuff like that. And then we have some other links here too. So we actually run paid ads and free traffic to it. We get opt-ins at like pennies on the dollar. So really, really good. And it's really good content as well. So this is something that you can do. I just wanted to show you how to like, you can actually send this out. You, it can be on your homepage. You know, if you go to our homepage on funnelgorgeous.com, we do have this up here or sometimes we send people directly to it, which is, you know, funnelgorgeous.com slash swipe. So let's dive into what a actual lead magnet looks like inside of Canva. There's basically two versions of Canva. I guess there's technically three versions, but I never hear anyone ever talking about the enterprise version. There's the free version, Canva free. And then there's the pro version, which is Canva pro. We have Canva pro. We couldn't do what we do without Canva pro at all. I always suggest starting with free until you need to upgrade. Unless you see something on here, you know, for sure you need to do where you want to upload your own fonts and logos and stuff like that and create custom templates that I, you know, go ahead and go for pro. And you can always try this out for free too. They have a free trial. So you can try it for free or you can start with a free version and kind of work your way up. But what happens is once you purchase our templates, you're going to get a link that is going to import our template right into your account. Super duper easy. You're going to click the link. It's going to pop up something like this and you're going to hit use template. It's going to load it all into your files here. Honestly, the coolest thing about our templates is they're designed by, like I said, you know, an award winning designer, which is myself. So you really don't have to change a lot. You know, you might have to make some design decisions based on your content. There's two basic ways that we suggest people use our templates. Number one, if you have content already created somewhere, like let's say you have it written down in some Google Docs or something, the content is going to be king right? It's going to have the, the driver's seat and the design is going to take the co-pilot kind of role to your content. So your content is going to dictate when content is king, basically, you might have to bend and tweak and twist and change the design around to fit your content. The other way you can do it is make the template the king and the content is the co-pilot <laughs> or queen. In that way, you're going to tweak your content to fit the template, which is what I would suggest if you are not as an experienced designer. I would 
would tweak your content to fit this. So that way you're not gonna have to make as many changes to the design because you're really just gonna kind of plug and play. What you see is what you get here. Inside of Canva, I just click stuff and I make changes to it directly. It's pretty simple as, as far as that's concerned. The big part of this is choosing which sections that you wanna use. And even like the colors are just as simple as you know clicking on the colors and changing them. So you can always pull up you know, your own colors. That part of it's pretty darn easy. The part that you're gonna have to tweak is you know actually deciding which sections you want. So what we did here is you can leave it just the way it is and you can say okay I'm gonna have a table of contents page, I'm gonna have a text and bullet point page, I'm gonna have a notes and bonuses sections, I'm gonna have a checklist page. Like you could leave it as is, call to action page, images page, thank you page and you can like this could totally be an amazing lead magnet and you just actually type in everywhere there is to type you add some text here it can be one pdf with lots of different ways to explain the content lots of different designs and templates or it could just be a one page pdf or it could be a couple pages with all checklists you know just depending on what type of opt-in or lead magnet that you want to create we do suggest you know you keeping at least the the cover page and then the last page thank you page or a call to action could be your last page too because this could like tell them to go to your website or something too but I do suggest kind of a cover to you know to sort of dive in and then something at the very end everything else is fair game everything's up for whatever you want to create okay so enough talking Kathy show me how to create these exact same pages well I hate to bring it to you but it's really easy <laughs> really all you have to do is just duplicate a page so you just click the duplicate button it's gonna bring you a new version of that page everything's up here right so if you want to create a new page you hit the plus button if you you want to delete a page you hit the delete button duplicate a page you want to move something up or down let's say like you know you wanted this to be at the where is it right here if you wanted this to just actually be the last page just start moving it down to the last page instead that's actually kind of it so it's like really really easy to have this and then once you are done with it once you have it all laid out you know you've changed all your information you've changed out the pictures the pictures you can just drag and drop over I can just drag in an image here and change out these pictures. This tool is very easy. It's not that the tool's hard, it's the content's hard, right? Just just making the great content that people will use and refer back to and give you credit for and say, oh my gosh, you guys are the person who created this amazing tool for me to use. So then after you're done, after you have all your pages just the way you like it, you're gonna go ahead and download it and you're going to choose PDF. I would go for PDF standard. That's gonna be something that they're probably gonna be downloading. For the most part, for lead magnets, you're gonna want something that's a smaller size so that it downloads quickly, opens quickly, saves quickly, all those good things. We're just going to choose PDF standard and you can choose, you know, all the pages, one of the pages, whatever. Obviously, we'll choose all the pages, hit done, and then it's going to give us that file to download. And that's about it, guys. So that was pretty simple and pretty easy, right? But if you want to understand how to create great lead magnets, right? What's the content? What's the, what's, how do you make amazing content? Make sure to check out our other videos. We have a whole series on lead magnets, what to choose, what type of lead magnets to create, how to make them awesome, how to make them irresistible and how to use them to bring people into your world. So make sure you check those out. I am a huge fan of Canva. The way that they have brought design to the real world is amazing. And I'm even more excited that we at Funnel Gorgeous can help you guys with this by me doing all the heavy lifting for you, creating the designs for you, ready to go to plug and play so that you look super professional without spending a lot of dough. So if this was helpful, share it out to all of your friends. And if you would like to dip your toes a little tiny bit into the Adobe waters and you want to see how to do this on Illustrator, which is my program of choice, click on the video here. I basically do the same thing for Canva. I do it over in Illustrator. So now you can compare the two apples to apples and see which you like best.